Hey, dear. Literally, dear. Emmy, you saw your first deer last night. Are you so excited? Yeah, me too. I was excited too. She's been pointing at all the deer in the house. She goes, bup, 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 bup. Welcome back to the channel, Fishing Freaks. I hope you've got a deer already this season. Last night we were doing some grilling. We were grilling some elk steaks that old Lunkers TV gave me. Oh, supreme, delicious. I definitely want to get one next year. But we were grilling right there and Emmy was out there with me. I was watching her while I was waiting on the steaks to cook and a deer came walking through the yard. She didn't know what to do. She didn't know how to be quiet just yet. I tried to say, Emmy, just watch. But she went right to the rails and she was like, eh, eh, and pointing at it and the deer looks up and the deer is like, huh? She wasn't, the deer, she was a doe. She wasn't too scared. Cause it's like, I know you're a baby. You're not going to shoot me, but your daddy's back there and he might. Just kidding. The deer around the tree house, they're not up for arrowing. Um, we like them, we like them. Especially when Emmy gets to see them, it's just kinda cool. I just wanna check the trail cams real quick. Oh yeah, definitely have some deer milling around in the yard. In fact, the, there's a buck that's come, in, come through the yard a few times and really hasn't even been bothered by me being out here. I was cleaning fish out here the other night. It was actually after I just wrapped up doing a, a video and I was cleaning fish and the deer just coming right in front of me. I put my flashlight out there and he just was like, oh, they just get in these zones, these bucks in the rut. They just, they just don't care. They are after that doe tail. So in today's video, y'all, it is, it is time. It is high time we name this vessel. The amazing names that you guys come up with. You're an amazing audience. I just want to say, uh, I love you guys. Thank you for tuning in to, to all my videos for so many years. I've been doing this for Daggum near a decade now. Can't believe it. I just appreciate you guys a lot and you're just a great audience to make videos for. So just for a second, I gotta hit you with a little promo because Mondo kits are in stock. Oh yeah, y'all, the Mondo kit. I just wanted to break this open and share with you what is inside of it so, because it is so cool. And this is just a, a really easy way to get a lot of product in just you know a quick, simple package that is a culmination of a lot of our great stuff. So it comes in a box like this. These have been available at academies for uh, some time now. They've been selling extremely well. Thank you guys for going out and get these, but I wanted to say these are gonna be available starting this week at shopcarls.com. They go on sale the 18th. Literally Catchco texting me right now about another product we're working on. Love working with those guys. So we're constantly working on new things, but anyways, I'm excited. I'm excited, I'm like a kid, sorry. <clears throat> Let me hit you with that, it just fell out. Similar to the mystery tackle boxes, when you open the box, you get a description of what is in there. So here is the Neko. Protect your face from the sun, the cancer. You also get a sticker, so you get some, some logo goods. You get a spinner bait, you get our zinger. This happens to be a delicious color right here, sexy shad, 3 8 ounce, little fall time killer right there. You get a flat banger in here, and not all these boxes are the same, by the way. There's variations in the baits and the colors, uh, but it's the essential goods. So you get a flat banger, great for fall and winter cranking. The juice! That is the juicy jig. Y'all, I feel ashamed I haven't, I haven't even done a video on this specifically. I will. Uh, I want to do a video on this and the thick jig uh, and the developing behind it and I want to tell you guys the more involved story behind these but basically myself and, and the rest of the Guggen Squad uh, we took a lot of time to develop this and Ketchco, their team, the design team uh, to get this really right. I have always said if, if uh, I get a chance to design a jig I want to make sure it is legit because I fish a lot of great jigs. Uh, a lot of you have sent me in jigs uh, over the years, you've asked like, hey, when are you gonna come out with a jig? Seven, eight years later, we're doing it. All of these baits, by the way, uh, that have skirts on them, they're hand tied. So they're gonna have that nice fluff, that that pop in the water, which is great when you're on your spinner baits, on your bladed jigs, on your, uh, on your jigs, of course. You wanna make sure to have that strong quality mustad hook. We match up the hook sizes with uh, the pound test you're probably gonna be fishing. 
uh, with with the bait. So that's going to just increase hookups. The weed guard is, you know what, I'm just getting a little too far into this. I'm excited about jigs. And that's PB and Joe. Delicious. And then you, you know, you got your Google Mates Crack and Crawl, one of the best crawls out there and makes a fantabulous trailer. So you're getting all that in a great package for value. Go to shopcarls.com, sign up to be a Carl's member, and these are going to go on sale. I believe it's $17, $17 or $18 for Carl's Club members. And by the way, you can save 30% on all Guggen Squad products, uh, all of our hard baits, uh, I mean, uh, everything. And everything on the site. It's like 99% of the site. Just do it, just go sign up, because if you're planning on buying uh, a good bit of tackle or some tackle throughout the year, you're gonna earn your money back on that membership and then some. Just go do it. Story of the Jigs video coming soon, y'all. Snatcher right there. What the hell? These are for the trailer. This is for the boat. Before we get in there and look at these names, I have to know. Do I only need to replace a light bulb or the entire wiring kit? I'm hoping it's just this little guy right here. Definitely planning on doing some night dangles. I have some other things that I'm going to attach to this boat to make it a, uh, shall we say, a night stalker. What is that? What is that? There's a lizard. I thought it was a snake at first. This was the crusty. Uh, the filaments are disconnected, so I'm hoping that is the problem. A little pro tip here. Take your little lube and put it on your bulbs. Always lube your bulbs if you're doing marine usage. Install gingerly. Rotate. Uh, plug it in. Get in there. Turn vehicle on. And let's get a little blinker action. What do we have here? A blinky. Not sure if that one's exactly making Thomas Edison feel like a champion, but uh, it's gonna do. Oh, yeah, y'all. Just gotta have a quick elk snack before we get into the comments. Oh. There needs to be an organized effort to get the elk populations back just flourishing in Texas. Can we make that happen? Imagine if there were like whitetail running around across the Lone Star State. It'll feed your whole family for ages. All right, let's settle in here. Mm -hmm. We got a lot of honorable mentions to go through, y'all. Y'all are just, y'all are hammers on the names. Really good. Like when I started reading these, I was cracking up. What we got going on here? Whoa! Music City Man says the white bass turd. I don't know, the, the turd's a little harsh. Uh, white bass, common occurrence though. I like the way you're thinking though. The Colossus of Cat, a little throwback. Uh, that was from Jay Wilson. Mondo Dingler, uh, Dangle Dingy. Let's just talk about Dangle Dingy because this came up the most in the comments. I, I mean, just Dangle Dingy, Dangle Dingy. Dangle, 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 Dangle. A lot of dangles in here, but Dangle Dingy uh, I also noticed on someone's comment, they said, you know, Flair's already got a dangle dinghy. Can't have two dangle dinghies out there on the interwebs, all right? Flair's already got that one, so let's move on. Space Dude 182, name it the Crappie Pappy. I like where your head's going with the Crappie. Jacoby Dressler, the White Bass Wrangler. Well, I kind of like that. That's, ooh. I like Wrangler. Dangler Wrangler, I think was another comment I saw in here. Very good. Uh, Eric in skip golden crispy hunter mm. when i started seeing crispies i've seen a lot of crispies in here golden crispito crispy dangler you see what i'm saying here there's a lot of crispies happening y'all i myself am digging crispy it, because when i'm taking this boat out it's really to collect the meat you know what i'm saying like i'm, I'm going out hunting i am going whether it's duck hunting or a small game or, or deer even, that would be crazy cool. Or I'm getting them catfish, I'm getting the grappies, I'm getting the white bass. You know, I'm, I'm doing that sort of thing in that boat. Dial in on those ditch pickles, which one of you guys said, uh, can we pull up ditch pickle? Great name. It got a lot of likes too. Uh, but ditch pickle, that's really the name for a largemouth. I probably won't be doing that much largemouth fishing out of it, except it's like early spring going super dirty shallow water. But for all that don't know, ditch pickle is a term for the largemouth bass. Patrick Pope says the Dangle Express. I like it. Uh, Dangle Meister. Uh, <laughs> 
Brandon Severson, Ricky 2. There was actually quite a few uh, Rickies out there. Ricky 2.0, but that's that's Two Lunkers TV. You know, he's that's that vessel's already come and gone. Um, Ricky died a, a horrible death. Will Mercer, Golden Crispy Mobile, more Crispies. Uh, and Mondo made a lot of appearances as well. The Dark Knight says Mondo Skipper. John Murphy, Mondo Swamp Buggy. Parker Welsh, the big bonger. Thank you, Parker. Fishing with Slim, the Crappie Cruiser. Mmm. Uh, Sean Lorch, the Critter Getter. I like that a lot too, because that is really saying what that thing is doing. We're going out there, we're getting them critters. Just gonna throw this out there from Hemp Slayer. You kind of look like Travis Pastrana. I don't know, first time ever getting that one. Usually it's Matt Ryan with the Atlanta Falcons. More Mondos, Mondo Mud Tub. Y'all, these are so good. It, even if this John boat doesn't get named one of these, I will definitely use these names on future vessels or, or future things. Like th these are incredible. Timmy B, the Whisker Tickler. Oh yeah, because that's incorporating the catfish. Kitchell, the green dangle. I don't know about that one. Baby Daniel, T, the crispy getter. Ooh! I kind of like that one. That one's got something on it. More Mondo, Mondo Machine, Stump Jumper from old Top Hooker. Jeff Stretch, the dirty dangler. Oh, S Man 7290, crispy catcher or crispy getter. Yeah, I'll, I'm okay. Here, I think crispy. The SS Golden Crispy from. Giovanni Suarez, yes, I like that. D. Keller says the old dangle sniff. Just kind of tying everything together. Dangle dingy, dangle dingy, dangle dingy. Backwater banger, dangle dingy. Andy Boggs, ooh, slab stallion. Gotta love it, brother. Thank you, that's a good name right there. I get excited when I hook into a fish. I know it's, it's good, it's exciting, whether it's a big bass or I know it's something I want to eat, like a nice crappie, or just getting on a big school white bass, anticipating the rest of the catches, and you're just, just language comes out of my mouth. And a lot of times, I, this is what it is. <laughs> Chris Davidson, the Mondo Magnet. God, that's a great name. God, that'd be a great name for like my next bass boat. <laughs> G, G M H Vac, the Whisker Wagon. You've got to love that one. Oh my. Incredible. Incredible, y'all. But we got a Mondo machine. Oh my gosh. We got to narrow this down. What is going to be the uh, uh, culmination of everything that fits this boat specifically for what it's going to be doing? Some of you mentioned naming it Winston in honor of old Winston, but I don't know if that boat does Winston justice. One of the greatest dogs to ever grace the internet. God bless his soul. Whisker Wrangler, Whisker Fisher, Dangling Angler, Whisker Seeker, Backwater Betty, Tin Can, Crappie Cricket, Donkey Dingy, White Bass King, Ocean Spoon Girl, Slime Slayer, Swamp Dangler, Golden Crispy Green Machine, Call It War Pony, Bird Banger, Shell Cracker, Fish Stacker, Largy Lander, SS Minnow, Shallow Reaper, Rackley Rattle Trap, The Metal Mondo, <laughs> Plan B, USS Dangle. Let's get down to the finals here. Some of the tops. Top ranked, top ranked by you. Let's talk about Crappie Crusader. Crappie Crusader, great name, great name. We're not always doing the crappie. I would have liked the Crispy Crusader better. I feel like that is, woo! TN Blazer 91, uh, fantastic name, sir, fantastic name. One that had just a ton of thought behind it is from SPH 12190, Banditos. The sequel to your old bandito from back in the day. Woo! I feel like that isn't the best name for this this boat. This is actually smaller than than my uh, than the bandito, and that was really the boat that I learned how to bass fish in and, and fish off the bank. Um, fished a lot for a lot of other things too, but that would be a better name I feel like for my next fiberglass bass boat or something like that. So that one got voted quite a bit, and I agree. It's a top contender. Just one more funny one. Calvin H, the Illuminati. It's not out there in the fishing world. You know, the Illuminati. But with an A because it's aluminum. <laughs> Thank you, Calvin. Okay. Oh, the Everyday Outdoorsman, he did say the Crispy Crusade. Crispy Crusade, well, Crispy Crusader, I think would be a great name, but God, Golden Crispy Express, the Golden Crispy, there's so much Golden 
Crispy Crispies. This is it. This is it right here. This is from Simon. Simon Va Vacula? Va Vacula? I'm not sure how to say your last name. I apologize, but Simon, I just want to say you're a bad mother trucker. Thanks to Simon, we have the official name of the John Boat that will no longer be called the John Boat. We now have the Crispy Collector. Yes. My gosh, when I heard it, when I saw it, I was like, that is it. It just hit me, the Crispy Collector. But then, not just that, there was another comment. Clutch Kick said, the Golden Crispy, but painted gold. Oh yeah, that's, we're not gonna call it the Golden Crispy, but we are gonna paint it gold. The Crispy Collector in gold, y'all. That is the deal, that's why I got the gold paint today. That's just the perfect name because the majority of the things we're gonna be putting in the boat, we're gonna be putting in the grease and making Golden Krispies out of. I would just like to say I am so proud of y'all. I'm proud to have you as, as an audience. Simon, if you're watching right now, if there's a way that you can get to a computer or smart device and send me an email that is listed on my YouTube page, about the, on the About page, you can click that there. Send me an email with your address. I'd like to send you a little goodie box. Maybe it's one of the new Mondo kits or just an assemblage of a lot of baits or some stuff, because that's really cool, and you at least deserve that. All the other top comments I mentioned, thank you guys as well. And I think we're gonna be using those names in the future. Maybe we'll come up with some better ones, but gosh dang, I just was entertained looking through these. Also, thank you to whoever left the comment about using seven dust to kill the wasps. I'm gonna try to get them all. Time to give the old crispy collector some TLC. So I've got these lights. They're gonna work. This one, I think, has been filled with water for God knows how long. At first glance, I just didn't know if it was the whole system or the bulbs, but it's gotta be the bulbs, and maybe the wiring is pretty jacked up on this one, too. Wow. Y'all, look at this. It's probably a fair guess that that right there is not good for the bulbs in there uh, oh oh hey there's not a bulb in there and uh, it's probably been dissolved over the years of trailer water inside I don't know why there, I mean there should be a hole like in the bottom of this thing maybe this one looks like it's mounted upside down so yeah that ain't that ain't gonna worky oh I mean we'll put some lube on there see what she does but it does not look great Everybody out there is saying, well, duh, you bought like an old John boat. It doesn't matter. Every boat I've ever owned, no matter if it is right off the lot or if it's old, they're all going to have issues. Every brand, every, there's just always problems. You just always have to be prepared to fix them. If that turns on, I'll be shocked. Blinker's on, but uh, nobody's home. It's looking like we're going to have to install some new lights. That'll be a project for another day. Along with painting the title, The Crispy Collector, on the side of this boat. And I don't know about you, but I cannot wait to actually see it in action. The, the Crispy Collector collecting the Krispies out there on the water. I hear something. There's a signal coming through. Oh, that's smoking. There's smoke coming off that thing. Turn it off. I think I'll quit there for the day before we burn down the Crispy Collector. But thanks once again for tuning in today. Go ahead and hit the like button for the Crispy Collector and all of you awesome naming geniuses out there. And don't forget to check out the Mondo kits and the full selection of just all the good fall fishing lures now available from Guggen Squad at shopcarls.com. Link down below. Until the next dangle, God bless you and I'll see you later.